right about now, I'm here to talk about Auntie Donna a little. Mm -hmm. For days now, I have been seeing things on the internet from YouTube to TikTok. Uh, people talking about uh, prophetess and message to Auntie Donna and how Auntie Donna behaved and everything. Now, I've been watching Auntie Donna going live for myself. And I, I have also seen that video of the, that's that woman, so-called, whether she's real or she's fake, I don't know. But I am personally going to say, in my opinion, I, I, I do not see that woman as real. And I'm also here to say that uh, I wouldn't want uh, no one to come, uh, come to me that kind of way and say that they get no no what you call it vision or message and deliver it to me in such manner the woman sound like she was quarreling you could hear like she had some kind of anger towards auntie dana no auntie dana is not stupid and she is human she must pick up on things she have feelings she must know when somebody approach her a certain kind of way how to feel we can tell her how to feel you know she must know what she feel and how she felt was maybe why she retaliated and came out that kind of way. Now, I am not going to say that Auntie Donna had the right or was supposed to behave that kind of way, especially on her live stream and, and, and it's out in social media. But uh, let me tell you something. You see, we as human beings, we like to find fault with people. We like to let people business bad away and we don't like to pick the beam out of eye first before we pick it out of people. I don't see the reason why so many people out there taking up Auntie Donna on their head so much. When you hear people say that some of you is um, obsessed, you are obsessed with you. Only obsession can make you get up every day and talk about one person so much. And especially talking about them in a negative way. Most of the vloggers are people that I hear out there talking about Auntie Donna. It's nothing positive. Yes, some of them do talk positively. But most of them is calling her all sorts of derogatory name. And you see that message that that woman said she come with. It was utterly disrespectful. Auntie Donna Alta broke. I guess that means that she's a backslider and uh, she needs to go back uh, to the type of person that she was. Auntie Donna is not ashamed. Or she, she, I hear her talk that yes, she was baptized and she, she's a backslider. But look how many backsliders I see in this world and none of them not walking down and holding down their head in shame. Nothing to be ashamed of. I think all judgment should be left to God and God only. If God wants to punish anybody for being a backslider, he will know how to punish them. But your mouth, your mouth can't make anyone walk and hold on their head. If it, if it was me in that position, I could have talked from now till, till no blue. None of you couldn't make me walk and hold on my head in shame. Or get up every day and feel like I have to come on the internet and be defending myself. Auntie Donna, stop paying these people mine. Every day you get up, you, you, you have your business to take care of. You're there selling your clothes. You're there baking your cake. You have to be like defending yourself from all these tormented people that is out there on social media. Stop feel like you need to come and defend yourself to all these people and explain anything to people. If there is a thing called breaking altar and you break your altar, you will know how to fix it in time. Nobody don't have to tell you and you will know how to fix it because yes, you are a God-fearing person. You are a woman of God. I hear you speak all the time about God and you know the bible as well and of course you must know what is right from what is wrong 
start make people make you get up every day and can focus a hundred percent on your business that is thriving so much if you were such a bad person the way that i hear people talking about you how come so many doors is opening up for you and them the righteous ones no doors not opening up for them that is what i cannot understand they are so godly they are so they are walking on straight lines they are righteous they are holy they are more they are everything when it comes to god and no doors not opening up from for them i just cannot understand that eh i cannot understand that so guess what now they class you all sort of way they talk about you in the worst kind of way all sorts of they try to tear you down and all i can see is uh, more things happening for you and nothing not happening for them somebody can explain that to me they see you as the worst person and yet so many good things happening for you i definitely need someone to come and explain to me how things how, how all these things happening for such a bad person and those people out there that claim to them good nothing not happening for them that's how people that auntie don't have to say that they're stagnant because nothing ain't happening for them but you that they class as scammer and thief and backslider and altar break and the most disrespectful kind of way talking about illuminati and all those things and yet you are prospering so much how is that possible how is that possible i know i don't worship you i just admire your ambition i admire your tenacity i admire your strength and from what i hear when you talk you talk sensibly you know the bible and everything that i hear you say about these people it is true i agree with you if somebody get a message for you that is not the way they should have come to you on social media reach out to you and i hear you keep pointing out some things and i agree with you 100 percent how these people only get in visions and messages for um people who are famous then because yes auntie then you're famous whether you want to accept it or not how they not getting messages for small people or people who they like to class as nobody hmm? why only people in your caliber or are people celebrities or famous people as i said before how come they cannot get any vision what happened only you only people like you god has message for only people like you god is looking out for i refuse to believe these people i don't care who want to come for me i refuse to believe these people that say they are prophets and prophetesses i would never want any one of them to come to me like that no dear no how the more they talk is the more light shine on you and if there's people out there who is worshiping auntie donna like uh, some people is saying that uh, the plunker people them is worshiping you and they're not worshiping god auntie donna herself come and say top put her on pedestal she don't need to be put on any pedestal stop uh, stop you know looking up to her like uh, she cannot make mistakes uh, she is only human she can do anything can come her way just like it can come to anybody else uh, yes uh, i know she alone used to go to church or was baptized uh, and and hardly go to church again or backslide so many people out there in this world that happened to so if any of you out there know that you are idolizing auntie dana or looking up to her 
and don't have any time for your God, you only have time for Auntie Donna. Auntie Donna say you must stop it. I know personally that I don't worship Auntie Donna. I only admire her for who she is and what she is. And the light that's shining on her. I don't know who wouldn't want those light to shine on them. Hmm? Who wouldn't want those kind of light to shine on them and their business? Well, that must be some crazy people, you know? So yes, you can come for me. I don't care. I said it. I do not believe in these people who call themselves prophets or prophetesses, okay? And that's all I have to say.